What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Area 51. In today's episode, I think we're going to build our first water ride here in Area 51. Mostly because they're somewhat cheap, at least compared to coasters. At least the coasters we have access to. Uh, any of these, if I build them, at least, are going to get pretty expensive. With the exception of the wooden crazy rodent roller coaster, which we might end up building as well in this episode. I'm not sure yet. But to get started, I think I want to do a River Rapids ride. This is kind of going to share the same design. Sorry, I had no idea what I was saying there. This is kind of going to share, <clears throat> excuse me, the same design as our go-kart ride here, where it kind of is primarily on the outside, but it pokes in and out of the alien rock multiple times and on multiple different heights. I think that's going to look equally as cool in river rapid form. <laughs> um, let's actually do this dash. Actually, hold on. We need, to, we need to walk away there. And then this is going to have to go all the way around. So we can't actually do that. Can I place that? Oh, it's having me place it all the way up there. No, thank you. We'll actually do the station uh, going through. Yeah, going through here. I think that looks cool. And we'll have it kind of end poking out right there. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. And we can actually do our entrance and exit on the side here. Very interesting design, but I think it'll work. And one thing I'm loving about this lower level here is almost every single exit we do, it's connecting directly back out onto the main path, which is nice. Or we're going to do sort of a cattle pen line here just because we don't have too much space. Oh gosh, is this the same mechanic that's supposed to be fixing it? No, MIB, you're not heading for it. Stop it. Mr. Fix-It, go fix it. <laughs> Come on, please head for MIB. Nope. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Okay, this guy's going to be... Sure, get the call. For right now, he can go wherever, I believe. Because he's not in his designated zone. I don't know. Let's hire... An Another one? One of these is getting a call for MIB. Sorry for this distraction, but this is ridiculous. Can he actually get there this time? I don't know. We're going to hire another one just to be safe. I have a feeling this guy can't get there. I'm not sure, though. Come on, dude. He's totally in the wrong area now, too. Now that he's down here, he won't be able to get all the way back up. Oh, this is a problem. The difficulties of verticality in this part. <laughs> okay, let's get back to our river rapids here and hope that gets fixed. I really hope it does. Um, we're just going to go in straight right here. We're going to start with some waterfalls leading all the way into, but not actually. Actually, that looks cooler with it going at least one in. I always select Whirlpool when I mean to select Waterfall. That's my bad. Okay, and let's do our first... Let's start going up here. This could be cool. Okay, so if we go up to like eight, we can turn it, add a Whirlpool, turn it again, and that puts us coming out right here on this tile right there, which I think will work nicely. Let's add two more whirlpools so they go down this drop spinning. Because, yes, I am about to do a drop. We're going to come out while dropping because that just looks cool. And then immediately into some rapids because when does that not look awesome? <laughs> okay, and then we'll turn this here. Go back across this, which I'm glad we did at four and not at three because I think waterfalls take a clearance of three to work. Um, let's get, what would another waterfall up here look like? Kind of like cross waterfalls? I think that looks really cool. We're going to stick with that. 
Yeah, that's neat looking. Kind of busy though. In hindsight, maybe not. That does look kind of busy. Uh, we'll add a whirlpool and continue straight. Yeah, I think that's going to work better. Looks a little bit cleaner, which I am a fan of. All right, let's turn this once again. We will go up a little bit, not much. And then see if we can come back out this direction. I'm not sure where this lines us up. So let's turn it here, and then that should work now. Let's add another whirlpool for good measure. Oh, yeah, that's going to work nice. And then, ooh, this is going to look so cool. And then we could drop back through here. Yeah, I like that. Again, we'll do some more rapids. Okay, maybe not. Can we go down further? And then do more rapids. There we go. I was going to be kind of sad if that didn't work. <laughs> All right, and then we are right here where we need to be. That works out really nicely. How does that look from the outside? I'm hoping nicely. Or nice. <laughs> That's kind of cool looking. If there's anything else I can do. No, I think that looks good. I like that. That was short and simple. Uh, we're going to test it and open it. We can't add any more station, can we? No, we're max on station. I always feel like I need to have more boats on this than I do, but they can hold eight people each and it always ends up being not as popular as I anticipated. <laughs> and so it usually doesn't end up working out quite as well. Did MIB ever get fixed? It did. Okay. So we'll leave Mechanic 8 and Mr. Fix-It able to go wherever still. I'm slightly getting more comfortable with hiring mechanics just for the sake of hiring an additional mechanic. Even though they do cost money. <laughs> uh, and then we don't have a handyman coming out quite this far. We do. We had the foresight to do all that. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, let me get this built. As difficult as it is. Oh, and then I want to add a sign right here that says... Let's do it in green. That looks very alien. I like it. Uh, this way up. And then we'll do another one up top here. Right there. Again with green text that says, you guessed it, this way down. Because from at the bottom, you can't really tell up here. Or it's not as big a deal up here. But down here, there's a bunch of little tunnels throughout. And I want this one to be clear that that's how you get back up. Because right now... Those don't look that much different, aside from the light posts inside, obviously, and now the banner. But that was the point, to sort of differentiate everything. Okay, we don't have results back on this yet, do we? Oh, we do. That's actually pretty good. That was pretty easy to do. 427? 420? Oh, I can't wait till our part gets all the way connected up. We're so close. Kind of. We still have like half the park to go, but hopefully we can connect that up this episode. That's kind of my hopes, at least. We just got uh, bumper cars, I think it was. So we can hopefully add that on this lower level. Maybe a car ride? I'm not sure. Nope, I'm clicking all the wrong things. Okay, let's see where this walkway is going to end up going. If we run this out this direction, that should work pretty cleanly through all those supports. Uh, I actually want to bring it back one earlier and run it on that perimeter there. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of getting us where we need to go. Let's grab another handyman and have him cover this newly added path as well as whatever we're about to add. Um, I think that's good. He probably doesn't need to cover this, I don't believe. Uh, but we'll have him cover the rest of all this. There we go. And then we can probably hire one more for the rest of all that. I think that'll work. Okay. What did I say we were going to build? Bumper cars? Yeah, let's do this. 
Um, oh boy. Where can this go? If I try to do it right here, it's going to try to build it, yeah, all the way up top. Um, the only way to build this down here would be to lower <laughs> all the land, which is not going to happen because that's entirely too expensive. We don't have anywhere we can do this down here. Dang it. This has got to go up top if we want to do it, which I do want to do, but that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Who was supposed to be fixing this? Wasn't it originally top lift? Oh, mechanic eight, who's all the way. Oh, our mechanic situation is somewhat of a mess right now. <laughs> okay, let's find a spot for these bumper cars. We need to add them on the upper level. And they're too high for supports pretty much everywhere, so they can't really go Uh, that's not going to work right there to begin with, nor would I really want to do it there. I don't know why I tried placing it. Again, I want to save this hilltop for something special, which we'll get to later. Let's do this in this corner. I think this will work. Kind of. I think it'll work. Yeah, we'll do it right there. Okay, and then... The exit can go right there, right back out into the food court, and then the entrance will actually run down this side and have it connect up right next to, I think that's Operation Majority's line. Oh my gosh, that mechanic takes forever. What has taken him so long? And what is this? Oh, that's my exit to... Project Blue Bolt, I think. I don't think I ever added a uh, do not enter sign there. I'll go back and do that here in a sec. Or I'll probably forget and do it before next episode. One of those. <laughs> okay, so we don't need a super long line for bumper cars. Let's up this to a minute 30. See if that makes it any more exciting, which I can guarantee it will. By how much, I have no idea. Um, but we need a name for this. Um, <laughs> 3.0, that's nice. We kind of got a cool name. <laughs> it's not really bumper car related, it just sounds cool. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to add the word the in front of it. I think so. The Dark Star. Sounds very space related at least. I like it. And let's make this, I don't want to do all black. Although the black top looks pretty awesome. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I don't know what it is about this top being darker, always. I feel like I comment on it every single time, but it always throws me for a loop. Uh, and then let's do white with black. Yeah, nice and... I like that. That looks cool. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> it's that one ride. Okay, someone's fixing it. Jeez. Oh gosh, sorry for the struggle, guys. Okay, $3, Dark Star, good to go. Minute 30. That is it for that. And we have seven and a half grand now. We are uh, making progress here. What else can we build? We just got something. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes. How did I miss that? Well, clearly I didn't miss it because I knew we got something. But anyway, let's do, let's do four balloon stalls in the park. We're gonna do two purple and two green. And I'm gonna place the purple ones with the, let's do that right as they enter. Place the purple ones with the existing food courts, and we'll place the green ones somewhere else. Let's do one at the uh, near the this way up sign, which I believe is on this back side. It is. Let's do this right in this little nook. I think that's a good spot for that. 
All right, so we did purple. Now we're gonna do green on this one. And then if our walkway extended all the way to the other side, I'd do one down there as well. But since we have a purple one up top and a purple one down bottom, let's do a green one up top because we already have one on the bottom. Hope that makes sense. Um, we can do this. Let's do it right here, kind of right next to the restrooms. Because nothing goes better with a balloon than a trip to the bathroom. Okay, we'll charge 10 cents more to uh, make up for our lack of bathroom revenue. Which is still so ridiculous. <laughs> are people still loving this thing? Not loving. People are liking it moderately. <laughs> but it's a success, I think. And then we never painted or named River Rapids 1. I'm glad I caught that. Um, okay, so, ooh, okay, the anomaly, I like that, these names are so fun, so space and alien related, it's, they all kind of have a mysterious vibe to them, which I really like, all right, the anomaly, we'll set to, uh, heck, we'll do wait for any load because people are wanting to ride this actually no that's our last train we'll do um wait for full load but leave if another arrives i think that's going to be the better strategy for this one okay and then the paint job i like the wood supports and the white if we do a different color it's just going to look i think kind of ridiculous i'm going to try a couple of these greens Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. I like that. Trying them all. Yeah, let's do that green. That looked really nice. I like that a lot. Okay, and then the supports. Does the light purple look bad? It most certainly does. Gray supports look nice, though, too. We're going to do those. I like that. And then for the boats... Do purple boats look cool? What about like a bright... That kind of blends in with the water while still popping at the same time? I think we're going to do... Actually, let's try this. Nope, I like that blue better. That's a cool color combo. I might be totally over-exciting myself about this, but I think that looks really nice. <laughs> Okay, we are almost at nine grand. I think that warrants building a coaster after we add some souvenir stalls. <laughs> These are some, or this is a stall that I almost never build and I'm not sure why. I just don't find myself building it too often. Probably because it also does umbrellas, but the teddy bears are just, they're so cute and cuddly. Why wouldn't you add those to your park? I don't know. Oh, gosh. Okay, and then we can do the souvenir stall in the back here. See what I meant about this little alleyway? It's kind of cool looking. It's the smallest thing, but I think it adds... I think it adds a lot. And that's going to be it for our shops and stalls, at least down here. Maybe we can tuck something somewhere in the general area. I don't know. But enough of that. Let's build a coaster. Um, I kind of want to do a wooden coaster. I feel like that could be awesome. Or a vertical coaster? Let's do a vertical coaster. This might get way too expensive, way too fast, but that's something I'm okay with. Okay, where can we drop? Because it's, it's a vertical coaster. It's got to just start by dropping straight off the edge of the map, right? That that makes the most sense to me. I'm trying to find a suitable place to do that, though. And I think I just found a spot that might work. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> If I, okay, got it. If we start it right here, we can go just 
straight off, which is going to look amazing. We're going to start with a hold. Actually, let's, let's take them out for a little bit. Like one or two. Probably just two. And then do the hold for drop. And then go straight down. <laughs> so cool. And then that gives us the space to actually make that work. And then if we can bring this right back up, that gives us space to put path underneath this, which will allow us to connect everything back up, even though we're probably going to have to do a bridge over all this because we can't go down into the ground. Whatever. We'll make it work. Oh, that'd be cool if you could do that. So we can go straight back up. What does that put us at? 18, we started at 23. That should work just fine. We're at 19, so we're gonna be going pretty slow here, but that's okay with me. Oh, this is gonna be so cool when it's said and done. You're not gonna be able to see a lot of it, but I think it's gonna work nicely. All right, let's go up a little bit, and then let's add some Oh, we need to go straight one more, I think, first before we can make that work. Can't... What? I'm not trying to. Oh, that works nice. Yeah, that'll work. I like that. I wanted to swing wider, but we don't really have the room to do that, so we won't. I'm not really sure where I'm trying to contain this within. It's going to get pretty messy here in a sec. What the heck? I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Oh, is this piece in my way? Oh, maybe that's not going to work. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Okay, so instead of doing that, we'll do... That's the same thing, but bigger. Um, if that's not in the way, that would be wonderful. And it's not. Perfect. I'm trying to do some helices here. I don't know where we'll have the space to do it. But, ooh, if we go back this direction, it's just going to look awesome. <laughs> oh, man, this is so cool. Okay, 16 to 12, so we're going to have a good amount of speed for this and not the space to do it. So if we just make that flat and then turn it, we do the same thing we just did. So instead of doing a, a gradual incline, let's do an aggressive one. Oh, that's going to work. Except we might be running into our loop here. Yeah, we are. Okay, can I go... Ooh, actually, if I do this... No, we're just going to go straight here into the mountain. I did it again into the side of the alien rock. <laughs> and then where do we want to take it from here? Let's do... Let's actually... We need to start heading back up since we started with... We don't have a chain lift in this. We have zero chains in this ride so far. Um, he looks up large. He looks up small. And then... Oh, that's so cool looking. Okay, so let me just do a momentum check real quick. We started at 23... Went back up to 19. That's going to be moving pretty slow. To 16. To 12. 10. Sorry, I saw that one piece there. To 10. And now we're going back up to 12. That should be okay. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be able to make it through all this. However... Oh, that doesn't work. Ooh, what if we do... Ah, I don't think we have the room. I was going to say, what if we do like a helix and then start heading back this direction? Ooh, but we can do that. And once we're in the ground, we can do a helix down. Ooh, this might work, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, can we do a helix down large here? Please tell me yes. 
What are we running into? Probably the uh, the loop here. Okay, so instead of doing that, we'll swing it wide here. Come back out there, which looks pretty awesome. No, we won't. <laughs> I keep getting these cool ideas and none of them are working. Okay, so we'll take it underneath this, which lines up real nice actually with this. Nope, not that. Real nice with just the side that sticks out right here. And we should be able to take this down to Oh no, not at all. I think that looks really cool. Except for the fact that we're right above this chairlift, so it's gonna look not so great. Um, how do we get away with this? We turn it and then start heading in? Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, that might be a little bit intense. Um, so let's go up one more first and then do that. And actually, let's start adding chain lift back in because we need to start making our way back to the station. Will that fit underground? It won't. Um, what are our options here? Turn it here and start going this way? Oh yeah, that's that's gonna work better. That'll avoid any of those high lateral G's as well, which will be nice. Um, okay, so we need to get back up to 23. This is going to end not as exciting as it started because the end is just gonna all be chain lift. To get back up. Okay, so we're at 20 and we need to end up at 23. Okay, so we'll take it to 20 for a little bit and then go up steep here to 26. Now that won't work. So we start it here and then we should be able to drop, turn it. I'm trying to get us lined up somewhat. Oh, that lines us up right into the station. Um, which will work. We're just trying to do partial underground and above ground. There we go. All right, so if we drop this down. <laughs> oh, this is a, oh, we're gonna run into the edge of the park. Okay, so we take this one further, then do it tight, and then we drop down, which no longer clears. Oh, this is a... I'm glad we're not running out of money, though. That's a good thing. Okay, so we're at 18 here, and we need to end up going... two tiles this direction. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? We keep this low for a little bit, which we can't. Okay, how's this gonna work? <laughs> This is difficult, guys. Oh, there's just so much land everywhere. Okay, we take it straight for one and then do it tight. Oh, then we're out of the bounds of our park. Oh boy, I made this difficult. I got myself in a real, real pickle here. <laughs> okay, what if we turn it here and start going back up? If we adjust the land ever so slightly, that should work. That puts us at 26. Yeah, 26. We can turn it right here. Okay, this should work, guys. This should work. We need to get it to 23. So we can drop it over the path. And then, oh, we're at the park bounds. Okay, hold on. So if I take this straight for two and then do that, ooh, that works out perfectly. And then start dropping it one later because that's gonna conflict with our footpath. Two later, because that's still gonna conflict with our footpath. 
down to 23. Oh, we're running right into this. Oh, gosh. We're so close, too. Um, How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, does that line up? It's so close. That's it. Oh, it connects. <laughs> Again, very underwhelming last bit. Let me actually see if I can get away. No, I can't. I can't get away with doing that any differently. Actually, yes, I can. So if I remove all this and make that a, make it do that instead, I should be able to turn it, drop it by one, just to give it a little bit of speed for all this, because that's a lot of time just at no speed there. Oh, and that should work. That should, fingers crossed, work. Now to get the lines there. <laughs> it's gonna work, it's not gonna be an issue, it's just gonna look pretty messy just with how this lined up okay too high for supports <laughs> never mind um okay this walkway is going to change um so this is going to connect up right there we're going to remove all of this which should allow us Guys, I've got to come back to our park and do a little bit of maintenance with my handy or my uh, mechanics before next episode. This is getting ridiculous. All right, so we can now do the entrance on this side, exit on this side. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, we can connect up these exits, no problem. And while I'm looking at it, we will add our standard do not enter. I'm trying to find our mechanic for over here. So we can cover this because it's right here. And then this line's actually going to have to go underground. What happened here? Oh, I deleted something underground. Uh, where does that connect? I can't see what I messed up. I deleted something underground though. Ah, right there. Okay, so... There we go. Does that fix it? That fixes it. Okay, jeez. I was so worried. I didn't know what I did. Okay, so with green footpath, we'll take this... I don't quite know where. Ooh, actually, I, I see it now. We're going to come out right here. So if we come out there, yeah, that'll work. Oh man, Whew, that was a, a process. <laughs> that was a process indeed. Okay. Um, ooh, I got a cool name for this one. I'm just looking at this list and all these names are so cool. Ghost Rocket. <laughs> It's not at all a rocket, but it sounds awesome. All right, we can do three trains, three cars per train. That should be fine. Can we get away with, we can get more. Let's try that. Let's see if that, let's see how that performs. Um, vertical roller coaster cars, continuous, all that's good. Ghost rocket to me sounds very, very white. With a little bit of black? Yeah, I like that. That looks really nice. See how that fits in with our park? Oh, that looks like it's just... Oh, that's so cool looking. Actually. Yeah, no, that's a cool name. Cool paint job. I like it. All right. Uh, for the trains, let's do... What would just pop on this? Ghost rocket? All red? What about the dark red? No, I actually like that better. 
Yeah, we'll stick with red. That's gonna just pop against this track. I think that's gonna look really nice. Okay, guys. Let me click on the right ride here. When I'm disabling music, you know what time it is. It's time to test Ghost Rocket and see if it actually works. that thing worked so happy with how that came out it might be a little bit on the intense side but i i hope it's oh oh my gosh guys <laughs> it's a lot on the intense side but that's also an amazing ride 825 excitement rating oh my gosh i'm like a giddy schoolgirl right now <laughs> that's so cool that came out really nice. I love that. That's awesome. No one's going to want to ride it quite yet because it's pouring rain, but... Oh, man. That was amazing. I am so happy with how that came out. Oh, man. All right, guys. I'm going to call it here. I need to spend a little time fixing this mess we have created for ourselves. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed Ghost Rocket. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.